Hello everyone and welcome to Cloud9 Blessings. This is Amber and I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed week. Thank you all so much for joining me here on the channel. Please like, share and subscribe as well as hit the notification bell so that you are constantly notified when new content is added to this channel weekly. If you have captured by video a unexplained sighting and would like to have it featured on our next heavenly sightings caught on camera, please email your submission to cloud9blessings at gmail.com. I am preferably requesting for videos, but you are more than welcome to email in pictures as well. I will contact you if your footage will make it to the next heavenly sightings caught on camera video. Thank you all so much. The two rapture dreams which I am about to share with you today were emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Abigail, where she shares with us two very vivid dreams about the rapture and one with an amazing sighting of the Lord in the clouds. In Abigail's email, it says, Hello, Sister Amber. I hope that this email finds you very well. I have been having dreams of the rapture. It started when I was a teenager, but the dreams are just repeating themselves. So I asked the Lord for confirmation if he wanted me to share, and he gave me confirmation in another dream. I would like to share the last two dreams I have been having. The first dream that I had was on January 18th of 2022. I was going to bed that night and fell asleep. My dream started when my dad and I were pulling in our yard and getting out of the car. We were talking about the Bible and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Within a couple moments of getting out of the car, we hugged and the next thing we knew, there was a loud shofar sound. There was shaking. I was like, Dad, this is it. I looked up and I saw Jesus in the clouds and I raised my hands up and yelled, Jesus, as I saw him coming down in white, bright light. He had a beautiful robe on with a red sash, but I could not see his face in the sky. By the time I raised my arms and called Jesus' name, I was lifted off of the ground into the air along with my dad, and I saw other Christians lifting up within our neighborhood. After this beautiful sight is when my dream ended, and I woke up. The second dream that I had was about the marriage and the supper of the bridegroom. Right before I woke up this morning, March 3rd of 2022, I had a dream about going to a wedding and a supper of the bridegroom. Though we are the bride, we were all young and knew each other. The table in my dream was very long but I didn't dream too much about it. But right before I woke up from this dream, I heard the words, I am coming soon. Those were my two dreams and I hope it really encourages someone because it really encouraged me. It really woke me up and helped me to realize that we are His. And when I say His, I mean, God's children. Thank you, Sister Amber, for taking the time and reading this. I hope that you all enjoyed my dreams from your sister in Christ, Abigail. Thank you so much, Sister Abigail, for sharing your two beautiful rapture dreams with the channel.
what advantage then hath the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. But if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous, who taketh vengeance? I speak as a man. God forbid. For then how shall God judge the world? For if the truth of God hath more abounded through my lie unto his glory, why yet am I also judged as a sinner, and not rather, as we be slanderously reported, and as some affirm that we say, let us do evil that good may come whose damnation is just. What then? Are we better than they? No, in no wise. For we have before proved both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God, they are all gone out of the way, they are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asps is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways, and the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now, the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God, to declare, I say, at this time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also, seeing it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law.